I was wrong. I was wrong about how I said this show is so generic and useless. And then Fenris is the only reason this show is good. No. This show proved to me last episode. And even honestly the episode before with the Dragon Slayer Ho thing, right? <laughs> Body Rosa rising up the Demon Lord accidentally. This is peak rom-com. Out of nowhere. And I'm rooting for the Demon Lord too. When has there been an Isekai where I like root for the Demon Lord? Very, very rare. Body Rosa? Uh, I hope she gets married into the demon lord like royalty because she talks about how her house, you know, it's like an abandoned, you know, no nobility. I don't know if that would look good, but this might be her way up to, you know, like a uh, royalty again. And then there's some other stuff, right? Because the king, not really the king, the shitty hero showed up and he's trying to start shit, even though there's no way he can fight us. And then we just fucking teleport. We're just like, nah, I'm gonna just take my entire thing and get the fuck out of here. That got, that's gotta be one of the most humiliating things. We didn't even need to fight him. It's like you're beneath fighting. I'm gonna just fucking dip. I hope we get more Body Rosa and Demon Lord stuff. The Demon Lord apparently was gonna go stuck on all out war because he thinks that Body Rosa or it might have been like killed, right? From the events of what the humans did. Let's begin today's reaction though. War? Actual. <laughs> Holy shit. This is. Uh, I, hmm, hmm, as long as it's shitty knights dying, I guess, but like, this is crazy, huh? That like, <laughs> this is the events of <laughs> the funny shit from last episode. Now thousands of innocent, you know, citizens are just getting plundered and just fucking dying. It's crazy that, you know, <laughs> that the dark one got so mad and started a fucking war for Body Rosa, but it's like, shit, I don't know. <laughs> are we gonna see like children being trampled? Is this kingdom gonna go down? Where's the hero? Oh, here it is. Where's the Yusha? He's hiding in his room. He's actually hiding in his room. Purification. Ah, I bet the purification we did on the forest. Well, maybe that's a bad comparison. Maybe the miasma here right now is worse than the forest. But remember, the first thing we ever did was fucking purify the entire forest. And it's like, what the fuck did you actually just do now? So there's a chance here for us to clutch, huh? Niat. Niat. New characters. Oh. So the Mao is like super benevolent on top of that. We know too, right? We know that. But it's like, bro's like, nah, we should back out now because the purification has happened. Let's protect our people. Such a good guy. What a good person. Okay, they need like 50 dudes to cast purification. You know it's down bad when the king is also helping out, trying to fucking, you know, do this shit, dude. Oh, uh, thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for the tier one sub. That's just Thor, though. I want to believe that this is less effective than what we can do. Hello, Danasama. Look at the tail wag, bro. Look at the fucking tail wag. A bath. How about everything at one time? The word grooming is usually, you know, used under a, uh, in a very predatory sense where it sounds really bad. But sometimes you can groom pets too. And, you know, Fenris wants to groom us. There's nothing wrong here. Nothing wrong here, okay? Groom me while I'm eating dinner in the bath. What was that? Did he... I mean... This is just like a little prolonged, so I'm like, did he like actually fall in love with her more now here? Probably not. Probably looking too deep into it. Dude, even her like casual clothing. This girl right over here, the fucking Dragon Slayer man. Honestly, I don't do her enough service. Like, I should be probably hyping her up, gassing her up, too, for the amount of fan service she just displayed. It's kind of actually fucking crazy how much fan service she is. That's right. Wait, wait, wait. Did they say... 
<laughs> they want to pay to pay rent. All right. <laughs> We're making our girls pay rent. No more free rent. God damn. Get to fucking work. Make me my money. Horsey stuff. Cute little, cute little grab there. How, how can she make money? What the fuck is she gonna do? How, what, what kind of work is she gonna do, bro? <laughs> Got some horse renting business. And these two? The left one we marry off to the dark one? On the right side? Uh... I mean, she's too young. She doesn't have to pay rent. <laughs> Looking after the pack. The pack. The pack leader, dude. The pack. <laughs> it's pretty much a harem. It's not. It's not. It. This is interesting. Because, like, yes, it is a harem. If you just... It's not, though, because you have a lot of girls that's kind of, like, interested in Dana Sama. Not, not really. Romantically, they don't really thirst over him. No, they really don't as much. No, they don't. But it's a very interesting environment where it's, like, not a harm, but she calls it, like, a pack. Like, a pack of wolves. Some furry shit. And, you know, it's the fucking pack leader's wife to look over all the fucking other women. You know, the, the, the different wolves, too. Pack of wolves. <laughs> What? This is the princess. Okay, purification bought us some time. I don't know how many people were involved, but all of them were for purification. Two to three months to recover from casting purification just kind of goes to show the insane scale and power that our main character has. Danna sama literally fucking did it without even blinking. Then again, his everything is infinite, right? But it's like, imagine that. And what about the king? Yeah. Where's the king at? Do we see the king? Is he down too? There he is. I will resume power. This is getting interesting now. I mean, she seems like an actually really smart person and a decent person. I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll see about that, but I can probably trust her better than the king, right? Good! Yo, she immediately strips the Yusha's title. All right, I approve her immediately. She needs to rule this land. The Oracle? Oracle? That's not the Oracle on the right, right? That's not the Oracle. The Oracle? The fuck? Like fucking Tensura? Like Luminous? They got a fucking Oracle? Bring in the Oracle. The Oracle will have a magic ball and be like, hmm, the future sees that. But it was, uh, we'll get married to the Demon Lord. Yes, this is your, you know, path to freedom. Not even the prince is kicking her out. A random night guard is kicking her out. There's no one to like say goodbye. Deserved. Fucking deserved, bro. Get the fuck out of my face. And you sucked, bro. Worst hero ever. <laughs> Where were you last time, bro? You were fucking hiding. Cowards, my ass. That's what the look was for, the prolonged look. That's right. That's the role of the pack leaders. <laughs> Just, <laughs> she, she listening for a shit, bro. She asleep. That was so fast. You were up for a second. She's like, nah, stop yapping. I gotta go to bed, Bandana Sama. She didn't hear any of that, huh? Fenris really has been holding it down. And if you're alone, this anime, it would, the sales would have fucking gone down, bro. I firmly, firmly believe Fenris is like hard carrying this show with some of the other girls. Danna-sama is honestly like the least important. He kind of exists there to like handle business when it comes to it with his OP powers. 
but like the entire show kind of revolves around the interactions of the girls and some funny like humorous slice of life moments and chill stuff. If it's just him, no shot this would work. Made it human. She actually had a definition for a date. People don't know what a fucking date is in date alive. Isn't that crazy? Benry's the fucking wolf girl here literally gave an actual definition of what a date is. And here we are in date alive. Five fucking seasons in. We're still asking. What's a date? It's like. <laughs> Motherfucker, your entire show is grounded on dates. How are we still asking that question? <laughs> she thinks the shy one. No, don't PowerPoint presentation my date with Fenris. She looking like Takamiya Mio. Takamiya Fenris, bro. What is this? It's the fucking hairstyle? It's the way that she's doing it? It's the hat, right? It's the hat. This is fucking Takamiya Mio. Is that it? There it is, jewelry. Oh, she hustling. A little lady. <laughs> Merchant lady's hustling. All right. Reese new drip. Ben Reese never gets nervous. I swear to God, if something happens to this brooch, I will be fucking livid. Nobody fucking ruined this moment. <laughs> but like, I don't think these girls are like jealous of her because she's with Dana sama. Maybe I'm misunderstanding it, but I never really got like a romantic vibe from all four to Dana sama as much as some of the other isekais. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they are interested. I think the one on the far left, she was kind of interested, maybe. I think it's just more jealousy, just because, like, single, right? It's not Danna Sama, right? It's the pack. Mm. We're going to get some furry territory. Lupine's teeth are everything to them. You gonna give me your teeth? What are you talking about? Oh, that's it? How are you gonna go somewhere with it? Just fucking sleep talking out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> okay, she has another bed. I'm like, is that another fucking bed just for the brooch? Like, she loves the gift so much. There's an entire fucking bed dedicated towards it. No, no, it's just two beds in this room, right? Usually, like, it's one for Fenris, one for Danna Sama, but it's like we're always gonna just share one bed. But it's like, damn, she loved the gift so fucking much. We got a bed for it. The hero. Are they looting the fucking castle right now, bro? This piece of shit. And the one on the left, man. The one on the left. She's gotta be the mastermind behind all this. I refuse to believe she's a simple gold digger. I want her to be like really smart and just like manipulating him, using him as a tool. What is she planning? Hmm. You know what? This this might be the most loyal gold digger, right? Cause like she was only here for like the fame and riches. For I don't even know if she's a princess or not. I even I don't know who she is. I thought she was the princess before, but it turns out we actually have the real princess. Anyway, she was always there with the Yusha from the beginning, right? Just like a servant girl. She is like one of the most loyal fucking gold diggers. Because like before, when he had everything, it's easy to be there when he has everything. But when he lost everything. She's still with him because she sees the potential for the gold digging to be even more profitable when he becomes a hero again. She is actually going for the long con. Sure. Okay, his voice acting. Come on, like, okay, okay. This voice acting is actually really fucking funny. What was that? Piece of shit character. Godlike voice actor. Who is this? A sealed demon? What is this? 
Que era wife. Sealed demon. Secret entrance. Ok. Uh, sealed sword. Did he just make a cat pun? There's no way he says Nya right there, did he? Cat pun? Maybe select the targeting of the sword. <laughs> okay, did he? This guy's funny as fuck! Did he just literally say his sound effect? No shot, gulp! No shot, he just said his own sound effect! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I'm supposed to be his biggest hater. What is going on? I'm supposed to be his biggest hater, but like his voice acting is so funny. This is actually peak. <laughs> He's actually really funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that voice actor's having a lot of fun recording this. Damn. <laughs> A Jin's got a uh, three wishes, right? Is this gonna be some monkey's paw kind of wish? It's like I'll give you three wishes, but every wish he makes, it comes off in like the most worst way. <laughs> What's up with her? Have her as a servant so that she can keep granting us even more wishes. Usually, like, I don't know. You only have three wishes. You're gonna be like, can I have ask for infinite wishes? Right? It's fucking stupid, but it's like, if you're trying to min max, you probably should do something like that. Or like, I want you, and then you're gonna get, keep granting me wishes underneath me or something like that. Oh, he's gonna waste it, right? Oh, he's gonna fucking waste it. What did he fucking wish for? Did he wish for a fucking Bugatti? I swear to God, if you wasted your three wishes on the dumbest fucking shit possible. This is the most mad powerful <laughs> magic kingdom. Is that, is, that, is that the fucking king's mom? Literally the same nose. <laughs> Anyways, this is the most uh, powerful magic kingdom I didn't know. Ask for Danna-sama. That's a caller. Everyone got a caller. The Jin. Don't tell me his wish is like, I want to rule over this kingdom again. Well, everyone's got like a nice choker though, huh? Here it is. Oh. I thought that it was just like control over the kingdom, but no, they're just sacrifices. Every wish costs like lives. Okay. <laughs> that is twisted. This is some actual monkey's paw shit, huh? It's a fucking sword. You fucking. Pull it. The hero pulled it so fucking easily. Your shit wasn't easy to break. I, I, that shit was just begging to be fucking broken. <laughs> Most likely, yeah. Unless Danna sama can help. Dude, the crown princess still so calm. What did the cards say? Danna sama. Adventure. And the fucked up thing is, they sent us with like a rigged bag so that we get fucked. Remember the first episode? They set us up in that bag so that we would get hunted by demons. Like, that's, that's, and, and now they have to beg for our help. Imagine that. They fucking tossed out. Just immediately tossed out tree like shit and now you have to fucking beg for our help. Part of me says no. But, I don't like the king and the Yusha. Everyone else here, I don't really mind, so, you know, probably should help. It's just a character from Beastars. Well, it's not a harm, it's a pack, it's a pack. We're gonna add the crown princess to our wolf pack. There's that brute right there, in the corner. As a husband. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that was so fucking fast. One of the best running gag is whenever, you know, she was like, oh my god, I need some help. And then Fanny's like, don't act like you're in danger, bitch. You fucking trying to seduce Donna Summer. She is so fucking fast with it. But nah, dude, Body Rosa has the dark one. Body Rosa has the dark one. <laughs> There is! Yes, please, please. Dude, this relationship, this meme relationship between the Dark One and Body Rosa is actually maybe the core, the key to peace between the humans and the demons. Like, if there's an actual, like, a political marriage that's actually from love, right? You got the human side, Body Rosa. Representing mankind and then you have you know goes out for the demon and they marry that's eternal peace born from a fucking meme like let's do it You touch her like that Venice gonna get jealous Poto actually having competition for wolf of the season was definitely not on a bingo card. You know what? Hot take maybe not hot take Fenris bed run Horo. Oh, that's a crazy thing to say. Well, uh, Horo is like OG Spice and Wolf, like legendary iconic wolf waifu, right? Right? But like these new age kids, you know, they, they don't have respect for that. They just go fuck them out. Dandasama! Dandasama! Yep, but I'm not sure what you're <laughs> Let's go on some bandits like Delta and Shadow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gina Pro uh, hello! Holy shit, that was quick. Jesus Christ. We were literally just talking about how, oh, everything's so gonna be good. Let's go hunting. Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> oh, Jin just appears. That was that was the fastest fucking flag setup I've ever seen. Haya! Hello, Haya. Did the... Uh, what did he wish for? Kill? Okay. You think that he could, the Jin? Could the Jin actually take out Furio? Furio has infinite stats. I feel like we're gonna body the Jin. We should seal her. We should fucking take her us. Take her in. She's talking with her mouth this time. Auto defense magic. No! I have to do that. But she did because she's so loyal. Dude, we had it, but she's too loyal. Oh, dude. No, no, it's gonna be fine. We, it's gonna, we, if we can do shit like this, if we can take the gen out, we can save Fenris. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's fine. It's fine, but this looks pretty bad. The brute, no! I, 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 anytime you go out fucking shopping for a gift for a girl, dude. Something bad always fucking happens to that shit, bro. It's like the fucking perfect setup to make us feel happy and then this shit fucking happens. It actually broke. That's a lot of fan service right now. Now. No, 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 she's still here. Furio will go all out now, right? Look at all that auto defense. Next episode, we're gonna get a cliffhanger. Ooh, can we reverse time? The only thing we could do is go back in time now, right? Like, 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 she's not actually gonna die. No, 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 she's not actually gonna fucking die. It's impossible. The entire fucking opening is just Fenris going, Denisama! 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 What, what, what? The next fucking episode is just gonna be Body Rosa in the opening saying, Gozer-sama! Mao-sama! Mao-sama! No shot. No fucking shot. Reverse time! Today's episode was actually so full of flags. Thinking about how happy we were with Fenris, man. Being so appreciative of her. Uh, we should be good, right? I think we're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. Can we use that to heal us now? Angry Danna-sama. We gon' get a fucking high moment, man. And that's the episode. Holy shit, dude. There was actually so many 
cliffhangers. Sorry, not cliffhangers. There were so many death flags this episode. Him just being appreciative, right? Him being so preach. What the fuck is that sound? Shut the fuck up! There's someone outside in the elevator. Sometimes I'm, I can just yell like that because like I'm, they think that I'm talking to you guys, but then it's like nice. Anyways, there are so many things in today's episode where it's like, holy shit, I'm so appreciative of you in my life. I'm so happy that you were here with me. Let's get a brooch for you. And then uh, it, it, it sucks because like this could have been prevented if she wasn't so loyal. But that's the thing about Fenry. She's so loyal and we love her for that. Like, it's like, what do we fucking do? What do we fucking do? It could have been prevented, but like, I think that this makes up for a hype moment next episode. And there's no way that we don't learn how some how to like go back in time, use the fucking new acquired light and dark magic to like, you know, uh, heal this shit. I don't know. There's got to be something we can do for Fenris. I refuse to believe that she's just going to die. If she fucking dies, the next episode, Bari Rosa opening. Maosama. And then I fucking drop the show. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.